Hello guys, this is Alltech Pro here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install an iPhone, uh, sort of an iPhone OS, uh, iPhone ROM onto your Galaxy S2. Um, there's two models. I have the Telus model, which is the T989D, also known as Samsung Galaxy S2X, and it's also on T-Mobile. So. I'll have the download links in the description. Um, this video is made off of uh, Galaxy S2X, Galaxy S2 root.com. So let's get started. Okay, so in this video, the way we're going to install it is I'm going to show you how to install it just via your phone so you don't have to use a computer or anything for it. So let's go to the browser and we are going to go to. We're gonna go to okay. We're gonna go to Gal Galaxies Galaxies Two Root dot com dot com slash T dash mobile T dash mobile dash Galaxy dash S two slash myu dash rom dash v v5 dash four dash t dash mobile dash galaxy Dash S two dash S G H dash T nine eight nine slash and then go. Let load. Okay, so see now we're on the Mayu ROM page. Here let me just turn down the brightness. Um where is the brightness on here? I can't find the brightness, but so here we are, the Mayu page. So it's pretty much like an iPhone based ROM. So I'm gonna download. Okay, I'm gonna go browser just once. And then you gotta wait five seconds for it to load. Sorry it's so bright. Um, I just installed Dirty Unicorn last night. But I don't know, I wanted to try a new ROM for my videos, so that's what I did. Now I'm gonna go click here to download just once. Okay, so now it is downloading. Right there. And now we're gonna go back in there again. Go back. Go back in. And now we're gonna download... I think I have gaps, but... I'm gonna re-download it anyways. So please wait. Okay, so now we'll download this file as well. Just once. Okay, now that's downloading. And then we'll go back. Back in. And we'll download, download dark side. Um, super swipe or super wipe. And then load. Please wait. And then download here. And then we'll go browser just once. Oops. Yeah, okay, so it's downloading now, guys. So once it's done downloading, I will come back to the video. Okay, guys, so as you see, they are now downloaded. Another way to check that they are downloaded is just go into your file manager. And we'll go back. Go to download. And they are right there. The three files we need. So next step is going to be to power down your phone, or reboot it and throw it into recovery. So now it's rebooting. So those are 
two things you can start with if you want to start. Okay, so now that we're in Clockwork Mod Recovery, first thing you want to do is you're going to want to go down to Wipe Data and Factory Reset, Wipe All Data Usage, and let it do its thing now. Okay, so now to wipe that, we're just going to want to wipe Cache Partition as well. Okay, now that's wiped, we're going to go Install Zip. Choose it from your internal SD. We'll go down to download where we put it. And then we will install 3 6 7 test.zip. And go install. Now it's installing. Okay, so now it says installed from SD card. Now, next thing you want to do is you're going to want to go down to download again and install gapps-jb-2013 dash sign zip and we'll go install Okay, so it says install complete. So now we'll just go go back and reboot system now. So I'm not sure how long it'll take for this to boot up. So once it boots up, I'll continue the video again. Okay guys, as you see the phone has booted up. It is just loading the launcher now. So let's just let it finish loading. Okay, so now it's loaded, and as you see, it is a bit laggy. Oh, no, it's not. So this OS is exactly like iPhone. Um, it has no SIM card in it, as you see there. So let's go toggles, and let's just... Oh, yes, yeah, so you still can hold it down. I'm just going to connect to the Wi-Fi quickly, so I'll be right back. So now we are connected to the Internet. just authenticating. Okay, now we're connected. So yeah, guys. Um, home button doesn't... Come on! Okay, so one thing I have found already just by installing it is the home button doesn't want to seem to work. Yeah, so this ROM, the home button does not want to seem to work. So, that is how you install it. But I'm probably not, like, I, yes, I'm showing you guys how to install it. But the home button doesn't work. So, there's one bug I just found. But everything else seems to work okay with it. Let's just take a look at settings quickly. So, the settings are very simple, actually. There's not that many. 
But yeah, like I said, the home button doesn't work. So, I, if you guys really want to install this ROM, it's up to you. But I personally would not install it again because it just does not seem to want to respond all the time and it's quite buggy. So, thanks for watching, guys.